everybody. Today we're going to be tilling and grading a trail through the woods on our new property. I hope you join us. I know a lot of y'all deal with trail maintenance. This is going to be new for me, so we're giving this a shot today. If you've got a better idea though, leave a comment down below. We are proudly sponsored by Boro Wheel Spacers. If you are looking for a stability solution for your tractor, feeling tippy side to side, check out Bora, link down below. As always, you can give us your feedback by giving us a thumbs up and leaving a comment down below. If you wanna see more tractor videos, hit that subscribe button. And if you want something for your tractor, maybe for the front end or for the three point hitch, we can help and we ship all over the country. Check out goodworkstractors.com. Well, bigger isn't always better, so this is a good operation for the 1025R. About four foot wide, we're using a four foot Tar River tiller. Did a bit of an overview in a previous video, so you're welcome to check that out if you want to. But we are gonna try to till up this pathway. It's really bumpy and uneven. We took a landscape rake through and got off all of the heavy debris that was on top. Originally, we took a skid steer with a big mulcher head on there and got rid of all the, uh, the brush and the bush and everything that was underneath. So now it's time to kind of level it out. So right now we're gonna do a couple passes with the tiller, take those big humps and uneven areas out, and then come back through with a land plane. You could also use a box blade and just drop it down, see if we can smooth it all out and make it good to go. Oh, hang on, hang on really quick. This is, this is Courtney from the future, about two hours later, okay? Let me tell you, Courtney from the past, you're about to waste your time. Don't use a tiller, don't use a land plane. Those are the wrong tools for the job. You're gonna regret it. I beg you, do something different. I beg you, do something different. I beg you, do something different. All righty, we're gonna go ahead and get to work, but really, I'm finding a tiller just to be more useful than I thought. You know, we're using it for driveway prep. You think of using it to plant gardens, right? Food, food plot prep, garden prep, but now we're using it for trail maintenance. It's not that I don't think you could go through with that land plane or a box blade just right like it is, but using a tiller just makes life so much easier. Well, that's enough talking, let's get to work.
Well, just got done tilling and there's no doubt it did a good job, but that was a, a jarring ride. You know, a lot of roots underneath uh, that were kind of hidden, especially by these bigger trees. I don't know if I'm gonna do that again. That was, uh, that was rough and really, really stressing the tractor and the tiller. Um, I think next time I'm gonna try just a land plane, see how that does, you know, and who knows, maybe, Maybe by the time I get a couple more miles of paths in here, I don't even care if there's some bumps in it or not, and I just leave it alone and rake it off. So I'll say it's a testament to the tiller and to the tractor on the job that it can do because this is some, uh, some nice worked up ground. We're not looking to plant, of course. I just want to get it smoothed out, you know, all those ruts and everything else that were in here, but I'm not sure the net result was worth it. I mean, we stalled out the tractor a handful of times. We got to try to figure out how to get some audio on, uh, on the tractor so that you can actually hear the strain of it, but it was pushing pushing the tractor hard, had to let it stop and prevent it from overheating at 1.2. Um, it's, it's just, it's a big job for it. So the net benefit of the tilling, I don't know, uh, that's yet to be determined, but we're gonna move on to the land plane and level out what we have here and take a look at the finished result. Are you, are you still rolling? People of YouTube, that was one one take. Didn't have to make a single adjustment. That was like the easiest thing I've ever done in my life. It does not always go that smooth, but I'm pointing it out because that's how smooth that just went. Not a single adjustment. Besides, we'll probably adjust the top link and maybe the side link, make sure everything's level the way we want it. But that hookup, piece of cake. That's all because of this Spico quick hitch right here. No bushings required. We ship them all over the country. Get yours at goodworkstractors.com. All right, so we're running a four foot land plane on here. Thought about actually hooking up the five foot to see how it would do and just give us one pass instead of two, but whatever. We're gonna use a four footer today. It's a good size for the subcompact tractors. You know, if you're not gonna be ripping, we're, we took our rippers out. We're not gonna be using the rippers today. I think you could probably get by with a 60 inch and be okay. Typically I'd try to match up width of attachment with, you know, approximately width of the machine. You know, land planes are, are great. I absolutely love them. I plan to use one out here a lot. Um, you kind of just drop it down and go. You still got to adjust your top link for your pitch a little bit one way or another, uh, depending on how aggressive you want to be. But it's a pretty easy tool to use. In fact, I think it's one of the easier tools with the shortest learning curves that are out there. You're not going to move large amounts of material like you would with a box blade, but for fine leveling and grading of driveways of paths like we're going to do, it's hard to beat.
think this pile of uh, dirty roots pretty much sums up the last couple of hours. Um, kind of lost interest in this whole project about part way through tilling it when it was just root after root after root and realized this was not the, the right approach. But stuck it out just to show you the good and the bad. Tilling through here is fine in certain areas then you get by trees and it just, you know, is a pain in the butt. And then coming back through, you know, land planes are great, 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 great for grading out stone, something without all sorts of debris in it. And uh, all there is is debris in this ground and just root after root after root. So instead of dirt slowly spilling over those blades like it should and just leaving a fine finish, you can see kind of all the grooves that are just trailing along. And that's all the roots that were, you know, digging in and leaving their own footprint and then piling up and not letting the dirt flow over the blades like they're supposed to. Honestly, it's not, it doesn't look that bad, but all the effort that I just went through for this stretch of trail, I am never going to repeat that same process. I think I'd be better off just taking that landscape rake and just making multiple passes back and forth over top of it, getting out what I can. But the more I disturb the ground, the worse I'm going to make the problem. Now, it's not that big of a deal, but with all the projects that I have going on out here, I wanted to be as productive as possible. And I feel like there was a better use of my time than what I just spent with the last two hours. You know, so on this channel, we show things that go great. I'm telling you, that quick hitch hooking up this land plane was the easiest thing I've ever done in my life. But then we show things that don't go so great, like tilling and grading when a better tool could be used. So if you have a better tool for the job, then please let us know, leave a comment down below. If you enjoyed watching our struggles today, give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. And if you're looking for something for your tractor, check out goodworkstractors.com. Hey, thanks again for stopping by. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.